Hi guys, welcome to Mutual Grid. Today we are going to learn how to make digital painting effect in Photoshop. This is the image we are going to use today. So, to begin the tutorial, first of all, I'm going to separate my subject from the background. I'm just selecting a quick selection tool and just don't perfect selection is not needed for this kind of effects because we are we will do smudge later so we don't need any perfect selections and do remember guys I'm using most for this tutorial vacuum tablets not needed and this is not the exact technique other professionals do right I'm going to zoom in and add these areas to selection right yes and I'm going to select polygonal laser tool and I'm going to subtract selection these areas just don't please waste your time in making perfect selections right and I'm going to add these areas as well yeah as you can see I have added I have selected perfectly now I'm going to choose refine edges to add some of these hair areas I'm going to increase the brush size by pressing bracket key next to the letter P the square brackets right yeah just paint over the hair areas you can add some missing hairs into your selection right right I think it's perfect for this effect and it's take some time to load all right now let's to separate the subject into a new layer by pressing Ctrl J. Now you can see our subject has been separated from the background. I'm going to crop the picture and I'm going to delete the cropped pixels so that we can have some much, po much more speed in, uh, in our PC. Right, I think it's fine right now let's begin the tutorial the first job is to add some colors to get some digital look effect for hair areas add green shades guys this is completely my technique so I have added a new layer and I'm going to set it to color blending mode right and now set the layer opacity to choose soft edge brush and turn off shape dynamics option right and reduce the flow and opacity control guys by the way I have changed my sh keyboard shortcut file edit I have changed undo shortcut with step backward shortcut so that I can press control Z to do step backward options right and I'm going to reduce the opacity and paint some green colors over hair areas especially over the highlight areas highlight means where we can find some white colors right uh, reduce the opacity still much and paint over eyebrows mush and bird beard right sorry it's all that it, it doesn't matter yeah. block out some colors and choose red color for the seams between skin and hair right this technique is self self learn there may be mistakes as I said earlier but try to follow along and add it 
on cheek areas as well in both cheeks right right now you can get some color feel and I'm going to add some blue color uh, purple sorry over the other side of the skin and I'm going to reduce the opacity much control Z just to give some differentiation right now I'm also going to add some active lights that is the light area the areas where the light can hit I'm going to increase the opacity and the light if the light comes from this direction the light comes from this direction the areas facing that direction will get that light so I'm going to add some light over that directions that areas try to understand my language I'm painting guys to get perfect results perfect result have some patience while working don't go fast I heard from a professional that it takes seven hours to complete a pick kindly remo remember just add a subtle amount of color don't add too much right and I'm going to add red color for the other side the light comes from this direction these areas will get red right already we have added some red remember but still we are going to add some more red to these areas um, fine don't feel for adding more colors just redo and apply from the beginning right yeah, I think it looks fine I'm going to add another layer on the top and I'm going to call this layer as smudge right we are going to smudge this layer with select the smudge tool and choose this brush and this brush is called sponge brush projection right select and select sample all layers option and set the brush strength to 30 to 35 and then go to filter window brush and we are going to change some settings from here I'm going to deselect shape dynamics option here and sp spacing option check this spacing option so that we can get a distributed brush here right first of all I'm going to I'll I'll begin with the uh, skin right so this is the skin and I'm going to just paint don't brush like this don't cross opposite that is different areas first paint with even areas like the forehead forehead is even so I'm going to paint a on the forehead do not paint forehead forehead is a different area and the eyebrow is different area do not cross these areas because it may give some unwanted results right redo and draw once again see be casual the more you smudge the more better result you you'll get right you can see that I have done a similar processing with the same image before just remove these hair areas these are not necessary for a digital painting right
I have covered the leave the hair areas now we will deal with that later and now for this area try to follow along the face contours don't do like this here because it will damage the quality do like a U shape because it will give some shape to the image okay see guys I'm using mouse for this you don't need a vacuum tablet for this effect still professionals digital painting some not all some digital painting professionals use mouse for this effect right try to smudge everywhere I am reducing the brush size in between by pressing the square brackets next to P key square bracket is the shortcut for changing the brush size remember it please um, one thing I have to do like to do is right click on the smudge layer and set create clipping mask so that you will not get some unwanted colors on the other sides and set the clip we will first let's group these layers right click and group from layers right first remove the clip and then select these layers and set group from layers and set this layer to clip mask so that if, even if you paint out the image will not appear on the outside but okay it will be easy for us when we add a background for this image and and I will also teach you how to create a background for this kind of images so that the image is com complete reduce the brush size here and just start painting okay. check be patient while doing this don't go fast it may give some unwanted results right okay I have covered lips as well and finish with nose ears right uh, I'm going to finish this with I'm going to go rough for the neck part and I will not do for the shirts for this tutorial <coughs> but if you wish you can go right now I am going for now let's go for hair for hair I have a different technique to show you I'm going to create a new document of pixels of pixels 500 just to 500 and press ok and I'm going to skip this video to I'm going to and the further part will be continued in part 2 of this tutorial